Hey everybody, it's Maggie here. I'm with Thomas Elmland at the Minardi Salon. He's a senior colorist, and not only does he do color, he also does art. Uh, Thomas now has an exhibition on the walls of the Minardi Salon, and he's going to fill us in on all of his favorite paintings. And from what I understand, this is his favorite. Take it away, Thomas. Thank you so much, Maggie. Um, yeah, it's a great opportunity that I have here to be able to share my work with um, you know, all the clients here at Minority Salon. Um, I have 11 pieces up here that I've worked on over the past two years and um, I do work with words. Um, I originally went to uh, School of Visual Arts here in the city to be a painter uh, before I fell into the world of hair color. So um, I picked it back up again four years ago and uh, I've just kind of shot out like a cannonball. Um, I picked up where I left off. I used to do stuff with words and um, what I do is I choose different fonts and then I hand draw the fonts uh, on the canvas and then shapes sort of evolve and the letters actually kind of just become like these abstract images and um, you know I take it from there. I love to play with color obviously both on hair and on canvas. Um, and it gives me, I, I rent studio space in Brooklyn and uh, you know on my time off I work here at the salon four days a week. I try and get out there at least one or two days a week in the studio and it just kind of gives me you know a place to take my brain somewhere else so I can uh, be refreshed and be present for my clients when I'm here. Um, Yes, actually I've had several clients purchase art and, um, and various other, I've had some companies purchase art uh, that have seen my stuff here, so it's been a great, uh, you know, sort of uh, catapult for um, people to see it in other areas as well. Why is this one your favorite? Um, well, this is one of my latest ones. Um, I just love the size and uh, the, the, the dynamics of it. Um, I love the colors. I've been playing a lot with pinks and purples lately. Uh, just because they're they're challenging to you know mix and come up with different hues and uh, there's also the sort of that playful like tongue in cheek um, part about pinks and purples you know instantly we go kind of go to like feminine happy thoughts with them um, my words generally deal with you know they deal with things that go on in my life and you know face faith is about having courage and just staying um, you know showing up no matter what is what my description of it says and um, I love uh, I love the, the sort of the triumphantness of it. Okay. This is still running. I'm following you. Okay. So this is sweet moment. Um, it's called pretty kiss sweet moment, and it says sometimes it is those really simple moments that stand out as being so magnificent, and even if they appear fleeting, you always have the magic of memory. So it's about, um, you know, uh, recognizing that there are those really many, many special times in life. And um, even if they uh, sometimes seem to pass quickly, it's like, it's, it's, it's fun to just reflect on, um, on reflect, them, reflect on them. And uh, again, like a lot of plays with pinks and purples here. Um, I was very inspired just by like candy colors when I was thinking of this. And sort of that play on sweet, both, you know, in taste and sweet in your mind. I have. Um, they vary in price. Um, you know, uh, depends on the size. Um, between two and four thousand. Good. Yeah. Good for you, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Good day as a guest. Yeah. Well, you know, studio rent is um, is high, so we have to cover that. Perfect. And then we can see in the reflection of the mirror some of the other ones. And let's get one more. Sure. So, one, you keep on at the yeah. stairwell. So this is Yes, um, Keep On, uh, and uh, it says the ups and downs and all arounds of staying positively focused. So it's, uh, you know, just about um, keeping on, staying positive, staying, um, you know, staying goal-orientated, goal <laughs> um, and uh, staying true to yourself. And I love, again, like, you know, the movement in this one, and how sort of the the, the letters and the fonts, you know, shift back and forth in between 
you know, being, you see them, but then they also like with the O, it kind of just becomes this, sh all these shapes that go around and weave in with all these different colors. And this is in a perfect place because it's in the stairwell, so every client has to see the office. Yeah, as soon as you um, actually make the turn to come down into the actual salon area from the reception, this hits you right there. All right, good job, Thomas. Hey, Thomas, keep on. Yeah, thank you. Good job, thanks.